Howdy there, welcome to Boxing for Exercise 3. First we're going to do some review. So as you remember, if you throw a lead jolt to the head, knuckles up, if it's the body, you turn them over like that. That's one to the body. Ooh, I lost balance there. Okay. And you can also throw a rear jolt like that. Turn if it's to the body, keep it straight up if it's to the head because if you try to turn your hands over when you're aiming at the head, it'll curve it slightly. Next, I'm practicing my footwork, back and forth, forward and back. Footwork is extremely important for fighting, and you always want to step before you throw that punch, otherwise you can't get any umph into it, and you need that umph. Boom. Okay, next up, we're going to cover range. If you have enough room to step, you should use a jolt. If you don't have enough room to step, then you should use rapid shoulder whirl punches. And if you're right on top of them, and you don't have room for straights, then use hooking punches. Okay, next we're going to talk about purity in the punch. So, with the hooks and the uppercuts, it's a um, looping punch. Whereas with straights, like the um, lead jolt, it's a uh, straight punch. The important thing is that the power behind the punch goes in one direction. The thing about the shoulder whirl, which we're going to practice now, is this straight punch, but there's a looping element to it. So it's not quite as pure as the hooks, the uppercuts, and their loopingness, or your um, lead jolt and how it all goes in one direction. When you first start practicing, start with your legs even and your hands by your chest. And when you throw them out, you're just going to really throw with the shoulder. Have the shoulder push the fist in the arm instead of having the fist pull the um, shoulder. Left side, left side. And as you're throwing, you're going to turn your feet slightly like you're putting out a cigarette. Okay? And once you got that down, you'll practice it in your fighting stance. You're going to notice that your lead is fast but it's a lot weaker because you can't get as much shoulder rotation on it. Whereas your rear, you can get a lot more rotation with the hips and the foot and your shoulder, so it has more power, but it's also slower because it has more ground to cover. We usually call the lead the jab and the back the cross. Anyways, good work everyone. Stay amazing. You got this. Woo!